Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Applied Multivariate Analysis Using Our Software. And we're in Chapter 10 part of this playlist called Cluster Analysis. And let's jump to today's topic, which is hierarchical clustering using the centroid linkage method and the median linkage method, which we'll cover in a second. So first, the centroid linkage method. This is an agglomerative method starting with N clusters. And in the centroid linkage method, the distance between two clusters is defined as the Euclidean distance between the mean vectors, which are called centroids, of the two clusters. And it's defined like this. The distance is, you know, whatever distance you're using is the distance between the two centroids of each of those clusters. You know, and Y sub A bar and Y sub B bar are the mean vectors for the observations in A and B, respectively. Now, the centroid, here's a big note. The centroid does not, centroid method does not lead to a monotone distance measure. Or equivalently, the resulting denigrams can have what's so-called inversions or reversals in which it's hard to interpret. And I'll point these out in the plot below. But another note that after two clusters A and B are joined, the centroid of the new cluster, called AB, is the weighted average between those two previous centroids. So this is a new centroid, and it's a weighted average. So one knock against this is that if you have a really big cluster, and then you're merging it with an observation or a small cluster, then the new centroid is weighted or moved towards the cluster with larger observations and and I'm pointing this out now because when we go what to what's called the median linkage method that it looks at this aspect okay so the steps are this the distance is found between every pair of clusters we merge the two clusters with the smallest distance the number of clusters is reduced by one a new centroid is calculated for the combined clusters now after the two clusters the or merged, the procedure is repeated, the distance found for every pair of clusters, merge the two clusters with the smallest distance, number of clusters reduced by one, new centroid is calculated for the combined cluster. And this is just repeated until one cluster remains. The results are displayed in a plot known as a dendrogram. Now let's do an R illustration of the centroid linkage method. Now the data are from an FTP site, this one specifically. Now, we're using the city crime data from that FTP site where it looks at seven different uh, crimes, murder, rape, robbery, assault, burglary, larceny, auto theft, in these various cities. Now, let's run this data. So let's, let's try to cluster the data. Remember, we can't cluster, well, we're only looking at continuous variables in this playlist. So we get rid of the city column, and then we run it through HCLUST, which is hierarchical clustering, and that's the workhorse function in R for this chapter. We use method centroid. We store all the results in hc.centroid, hierarchical clustering.centroid. Now in this method, there's what's called a merge. So that's part of the information that's sent to this variable HC centroid. And it's the order in which variables were merged. So if it's a negative value, it means an observation. If it's a positive, it's a cluster. So for example, in step one, observation one and observation 15 were merged into a cluster. A new centroid was, of course, calculated. In step two, observation seven, and the cluster created in step one, because it's you know since it's positive, it means cluster, and it's this cluster. Those two clusters are combined. Now note that it's a cluster of one and a cluster of two. A new centroid meth centroid is calculated, and then it's re and then we recalculate all the distances. In step three, observation nine and observation ten were joined. You know, I'm going to skip a few. Op uh, in step six, cluster number four that was created in step four is joined with the cluster created in step five. Anyway, I just love this little merge matrix. It's so informative, and someone 
was pretty creative when they, they developed that. Here is the, oh, I want to point out that I, I just plot the centroid, and I use rec H cluster to create these pretty little boxes around the clusters that we just created. And I want, and I put K equals four because I want four little clusters. And we look at it here. So this is it. So this is the dendrogram. Now notice that some of these are inversions. When we join clusters, it's up here. But then when we recalculate the centroid, remember that the center's moved a little bit. And so the distance between these two clusters goes down, but these two clusters joined, it was up here. And so these are these inversions that I was talking about. And looking at this uh, dendrogram, it's not 100% obvious, you know, the distances between these two clusters and how they're combined. But this would be a, a four cluster in the city crime data using the centroid method. Now let's look at the median linkage method for hierarchical clustering. And again, this is an agglomerative method starting with n clusters. Um, now note that in the centroid linkage methods, the updated centroid is a weighted average between the two centroids from each cluster. Now the updated centroid will be closer to the the centroid with a larger cluster size. Now to avoid this, the weighting, the mean vectors according to cluster size, a median linkage method was developed. And it's basically we use the median of the line joining the two centroids. And so mathematically, this is how you describe it. So we're thinking about finding the distance between, you know, or we've, we've found the distance between clusters A and B to be the small, so we, now we need to join them. But to join them, we just pick that middle point between them, and then that's the new point for the cluster AB. And then th that new point, the median, is what we'll use to compare with the distance of all the other clusters. And again, a, a note, the median does not lead to a monotone distance measure, so you're going to get these inversions in the dendrogram. And, and I'll point it out in the plot below. The steps are very similar to the, the centroid. Distance is found between every pair of clusters. Merge two clusters with the smallest distance. The number of clusters is reduced by one. A new point is calculated for the combined co clusters, which to compare with other clusters. <clears throat> After two clusters emerge, the p procedure is repeated. The distance is found between every two pair. Merge the two clusters with smallest distance. The number of clusters is reduced by one. The new point is calculated for the combined clusters, which we'll compare with every other clusters. And this is just repeated until one cluster remains. And then I like to display the results in a plot known as a dendrogram. Okay, so let's illustrate this from data from an FTP site here. And, and we'll look at the median linkage. <clears throat> and again, we'll use the city crime data. And let's, oh, here's the, um, so we use H plus, and again, that's the workhorse, but we select method median, and we store it in this variable, this object. And I always like to print out the merge matrix, and that tells us how things were merged. Um, I'm not going to go over it, but negatives are, means an observation was merged. The positive means it's a cluster created in that previous step. So we're going to plot the hierarchical cluster method using median method. We're going to use the rectangular H clust, which creates these pretty little boxes around our dendrogram. We're going to just create four clusters. And this is it. And this is the four clusters that would be created using the median method. Now, you, of course, you can change k equals 5 or 2 or whatever. <clears throat> Here it looks like two clusters would be perfect because there's a large distance between them, and these are all grouped, and that's grouped. Yep, well, that's the median method. The next method we're going to look at is called Wald's linkage. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.